Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning, and that can only mean one thing. We've got the quote of the week, and today, um, beautiful quote, and something that I subscribe to so much. Alex Hamosi, it's episode uh, 803, by the way. Alex Hamosi says, Yo, and by the way, I love Alex Hamosi. If you don't know who he is, look him up. He is a ninja. Absolutely, well, not really a ninja, but well, he's a ninja in marketing. But he's a brilliant, brilliant guy. And he's also stacked. Right, you're one decision away from changing your life. Alex Hamosi. That, my friends, is so true. You're one decision away from changing your life. When I opened my self-storage in 2012, that one decision was to open up a self-storage. Changed my life. It's going to change my family's life. It is changing so many other people's lives as well that we come across. Um, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, and I'll go even further than that. The one decision that changed my life was when I went on honeymoon back in 2012, I... <laughs> It wasn't very good at the time, but it worked out amazingly well. So me and the wife pulled up, um, pulled up. We got to the airport. We were going to rent a car because we were traveling from Las, uh, Los Angeles, I think, all the way to, I don't know. We, was, we were doing a road trip anyway. And so we needed a car. So we, we booked a car. We booked this massive um, RV, huge thing. And I was so looking forward to driving it. We got there. And I was like, um, Claire, I forgot my driving license. And she was like, you haven't. I was like, I have Oh no, what are we gonna do? And obviously, Claire, she doesn't really want to drive on these seven lane freeways. She doesn't want to drive for four hours a day. And I'm like, I'm so, so sorry. Claire, don't go anywhere about a driving license. She's got a driving license. So she has to use her driving license. And it was, it was funny, but not funny and scary because I thought Claire was gonna kill me. Anyway, on the drives, I had nothing else to do but play my Tiger Woods golf. Do do. I got really good at Tiger Woods golf. I did backspin and all sorts of my iPad. It was wonderful. And I had my feet up on this RV. I was loving it. Claire on the other hand was getting real stressed out. Couldn't talk to her because she had to concentrate. I'm like, this is great. Anyway, on the side of the road, I kept seeing self-storage. I was like, self-storage, 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 self-storage. Craig, there's a lot of self-storages. I'm going to have a look up self-storages. So I Googled self-storage Beverly. There was no self-storage. And that was it. I was gone for the rest of the honeymoon because I was just doing research onto what I perceive my next business venture. And as it happens, it's turned out well. And if I wouldn't, if who knows where we'd be right now if I wouldn't have forgot my driving license. Would we still be in self-storage? Would I still be talking to you right here, right now? There's a definite potential that the answer is no. And that scares the shit out of me, but it excites me at the same time because you are literally one decision from changing your life and you don't even know it. And what, what looks like a bad thing at the time isn't a bad thing. So you think something is a perceived negative, but it ends up being the best thing that's ever happened to you. Laza, real bad thing. You think it's a you think it's something that's uh, gonna dim me forever, change my life. Um, ex-girlfriends splitting up, best, best thing that happened. And then obviously wouldn't have met Claire, wouldn't have had two awesome kids. And so all the things that good, good and bad things happen to us every single second of every single day, but at the time we have no idea which is which. Good things happen to you, but really they're secretly, um, they're secretly packaged as a bad thing. And I think this, this is why life is so wonderful because we just don't know. It's, it's a great proverb from China. Maybe, maybe not. I've done an episode about it before, so I won't go into it again. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, you must be so happy. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? With self-storage doing so well. Is it a good thing ultimately for me for me or not? Because um, could that make my kids entitled twats and brats and stuff? Maybe, maybe not. Could it mean that me and Claire have so much money that we we kind of we, we're not clubbed together? We're not going to try and, you know, when you when we was in the old house, we huddled down and I was about five o'clock and we was we was proper hustling, it was great. But now, now because life's more easier, does is that is that a bad thing? Maybe, maybe not. So who knows? I have no idea. If anything's a good, bad, a bad, a good or bad thing now, because we don't know. But please remember, you're one decision away from changing the rest of your life, and that is so bloody powerful. It's so powerful, and uh, I love it. I, I really do love it because it means that anything is possible, and it's just that like one decision. All right, my friends, think about it. I meditate on it. I love you. I appreciate you, and I will see you on Monday morning. See ya.